Hi, you're Nick Hay. Welcome back to my channel. And hello, if you are new here, got the posh latte out, especially for you guys today. Oh my God, it's so good. I've used that for Reese and Milk, which you guys all recommended to me. It's by like Oatly. I think it's Oatly. So, so good. Tell you what though, I've noticed that it's really popular in shops because every time I go, it's always the one that's sold out. If you've got a coffee machine and you don't drink normal milk, even if you do drink normal milk, try this because I'm guaranteed you'll actually prefer it to normal milk. You need it. Anyway, enough of that ramble. So, today's video, I'm actually going to do a little bit of an interior homeware video. So, today is a Sunday and I spent my Sunday just doing one of those days where you nip around all the homeware shops. So, I've been to HomeSense, I've been to the Range, um, Dunelm. Those sorts of places, I love having a good browse around there anyway. And do you know when I didn't have my own home, I always would be in those places and be like, oh, I can't wait until the day that I can just have my own space and decorate it how I want. It was such a thing that I used to get so excited about and now I'm actually here able to do it. I love it. Um, so yeah, as you guys know, there's still a lot that needs to do into this house. Like this bedroom, for example, all I literally have in here is a bed, really. It's by no means done. I want to get curtains to make it more homely. There's so much that needs to do in. The main rooms that I'm sort of working on and want to get finished first is obviously the kitchen and the lounge. So with that room, let me just give you an update. Everything's more or less done. Um, I still need like a dining table, dining chairs, and I'm still awaiting like a TV stand. Um, so they're the main last bits of furniture that I just need to get. And then I also feel like I just need a few more decorative things. So today's video, I thought I'd just show you how to sort of like decorate and just update your decor without having to go out and buy like massive furniture so do you know sometimes you might have shelves that look a little bit bare or your coffee table might look a little bit empty i only wanted to show you a few bits that i have brought just to accessorize your home a little bit more um they're all quite budget friendly as well so yeah, I thought I would do it because there's a few things I've been buying lately that I've not shown you and I always get so many questions on like my home account about where's this from, where's that. So I just thought I'd do a home haul. So yeah, without further ado, I'm going to jump straight in and show you a few little bits I have picked up. Okay, so the first place we're going to start with is the range. Now I absolutely love the range. If you've never been there, words fail me. It is the best store in the whole entire world. It's so affordable. You can find some absolutely gems in there. And I feel like with the range as well, there's loads of like accessories for your home. It just looks so much more expensive than what they actually are. So first thing I'm going to jump in and show you um, is this little clock that I bought. It's actually damaged. I picked one up. Do you know when you do that thing, you're like, right, I'm going to get one. It's all in the packaging. It's all bubble wrap. But I didn't actually check inside it. And then when I got it, it there is a few little dents in there. It does actually need a little bit of a clean because it's been out and about. Um, but yeah, this is what it looks like. It's just this gorgeous silver clock. Um, it's just so beautiful. I feel like it looks so much more expensive than what it was. It was literally about eight or nine pounds. I just feel like it looks quite classy, quite minimal, and it's just a really nice little feature just to put on a side or a shelf. Um, for me, I have been putting this in my hallway. I've just got like a little, little window shelf, um, and I've just put it there. So yeah, I really like this. They do so many gorgeous clocks in the range. They do these like tall ones and. I'm totally there for the clocks. So yeah, that's the first thing that I picked up. Okay, next thing I picked up from the range was this gorgeous candlestick holder. How pretty is this? Again, this was really inexpensive. I think it was around about the £10 mark. Um, and yeah, there's a few ways that I would style this in my home. So you could use this, of course, for like your dining table and put it like as a centerpiece in your dining table, get a gorgeous candle to go inside. You could put it on your kitchen worktop and have it like as a little feature there. If you've got like a big middle countertop like I have, you could even put this on your coffee table. Again, a nice shelf. There is so many different ways you could style this in your home, but I feel like this is quite a statement piece classy i just really like this it's quite minimal but it just looks really expensive and um, you just need to find a nice candle which is always hard to find nice candles that are the exact size i feel like you would want a like crystal white candle for this um yeah i would anyway so yeah i got that the next thing i picked up from the range is something i always get asked about i've already got one of these but i picked up a new one this time i went and i Again, these are about $5.99. They're really inexpensive. And they're just these faux roses. So I actually have um, some of these faux roses from Dunnell. They do look better quality, to be honest with you. They're a bigger cube. Um, and the roses themselves are a lot nicer. But again, that was about £20-£30 for those ones. So this in comparison price-wise is a lot cheaper. I know they're a little smaller. But I just think these look so beautiful still. I mean, like I said, I don't feel they're personally as good quality as the Dunnell ones. But these still look really nice and do the job so yeah i picked up another cube of these just because i don't know i just wanted another one because 
I always feel like I'm moving the one I've got to different places and I'm just like, you know what, I just need another one. So yeah, can never go wrong. They just look so expensive. So I got those. The next thing I picked up from the Rage was this silver artichoke, I don't know how you say that word, artichoke, tea light holder. Um, so this is what it looks like. Again, I just feel like this looks so expensive and it really wasn't. This was around about, I'm going to say like five to six pound. I'm so bad, I didn't keep the receipt, and then I was like looking around everywhere for the receipt, and I'm like, right, I'm gonna have to do some real like brain searching. <laughs> and I'm really bad, I'm one of them people as well that she just never looks at prices. Like, I need to be more conscious of these things, but I'm not. Um, but yeah, anyway, I just thought this looked really expensive. I don't know where I'm gonna put it at the moment, but we will style it up together and see where I put it. It is a tea light holder, so you can put a tea light in there. But I just thought, again, it just looked like a really nice, sort of expensive, but inexpensive thing just to put again on a shelf or your coffee table. I don't know, we'll style that up. So I got that. Okay, the next couple of things I got from the range, they do them in white or silver. So I have opted for the white. I know these looks really random, but I was saying to you guys not so long ago that I was in dire need of something for my, what are they? Um, oh my God, my mind's gone blank. My mind's gone blank. What is it? Um, I'm gonna be here all day thinking about this. They're not wooden shelves, oak shelves. Guys, I've got a brain freeze. What the hell is wrong with me? Anyway, do you have them shelves in my kitchen, guys? They're like pine wooden shelves in my kitchen because as you know, my kitchen's like white. But it's got like, that oaky sort of feel to it that sort of goes with the barn conversion features, which are, I can't, I, why can't I think? Let me take a cup of coffee. I think I need some caffeine. Anyway, I can't think what I'm trying to say, guys, but I've got these shelves in my kitchen that are like sort of oaky shelves. They go with the beams in the living room. Blank at the moment. I've got one shelf that's got like tea, coffee, sugar pots on and they're in white. And then I've got one of the little roses next to it that I've just put on the floor. One of them. And then the second shelf, which is above my coffee thing, I did have two like empty glass you know like sweet jars on there so i was gonna fill one with white marshmallows and the other i was gonna think of like another white sweet but i've already put like pink bonbons in there because they're my favorite at the moment and then i was thinking maybe like a reed diffuser or something i don't know but then i've got two shelves at the top that are still just empty so i needed something to put on them i wanted to keep it sort of like white because i just have so much silver everywhere you know what I mean? So I was so tempted to get silver, but I was like, no, Laura, get white. Like, get something different. You've got like white tea, coffee, and sugar pots to so get white. So anyway, I got these. So it's like an apple. Um, the silver ones are beautiful, you know, like they really were. But yeah, this is the white one. It's like a white, shiny. Can you hear that? I don't know actually what it's made out of. Like, it's not glass. But anyway, you know what I mean. Um, and then there was a pair. So I don't know. I don't, I don't know, guys. But I just thought maybe these could be like a decorative feature on the shelf. It, it could work. So anyway, for like 2 99 I thought, you know what? We'll get them and see if we can jazz up the shelf with that. The next thing I picked up from the range were these gorgeous lanterns. Now, I've been after some lanterns for a while. And every time I go into the range, well, the range that I kept going into, it never had the ones I wanted in stock. They either had like the really big ones or the dead tiny ones. So these were the perfect size um, for what I wanted for. I'm still a bit unsure where to put these. I'm thinking either um, next to like, my TV stand in the living room or in the hallway. There's been an update in the hallway, guys. So in the hallway, it was looking so bad the other day. It was driving me crazy. So do you know that big mirror that I've got? I've took that out of my dressing room, put that in the hallway, and I've brought a big lamp that I will show you very shortly. I put like a big... What is it? A standing freestanding lamp next to it because the hallway was so dark, the lights in the hallway were ridiculous. So anyway, put that there. So I maybe could put these next to it, or will that be a bit too much? I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, this one was around about eight, nine pounds. This was the cheaper one, which is the small one. I just love these little lanterns. I think you can just put them again anywhere and just make just make it look dead decorative and just, you know, just add a little touch to your room. And then I got the bigger one, which actually comes with a light that you can turn on, but I think it may need batteries. Yeah, it does need batteries. Um, so yeah, I got both of those. And um, the taller one was about 12 99 I'm pretty sure. So yeah, I really like those. The things I picked up from the range was, firstly, just this little candle. It's more of a like darker silver. It's not like a silver silver, is it? It's like a gum. Is it gum metal, am I gonna call it? Um, but yeah, I really wanted like a clear top to go over it. I'm gonna have to find one of them. I think they do some beautiful ones from John Lewis. I'm gonna look for that. But I just got this for now um, because I thought it would go on my coffee table. Because at the moment on my coffee table, I've got this, which again is on the range. It just needed a good dust actually. It's just simply a light tray. That's all it is. It's just a very thin mirrored tray. And this was literally about 
2.99 from the range it was so cheap but you can just have it as like a little tray um, and then just put like a candle a diffuser just nice little bits on there so yeah i got that but i think i'm gonna mix that around now because i've brought something else today to go on my um what is it coffee table i'm going mind blank i don't know what's up guys i brought something else on the coffee table today so i think i'm gonna move this somewhere else uh, but yeah those are the last few things i got from the range now moving on to homesense i didn't actually get a lot from homesense i just got two things today so first thing i got was this absolute find so this was in the bathroom section but it'd be important to tell you whereabouts in the store it is because when i see things on other people's feeds it's from home sense i go in my store and i can never find them and they're in the most randomest places like i would never thought this was in the bathroom because I don't know, I just wouldn't have. Um, but yeah, I brought this gorgeous little tray. Like, how pretty is this, guy? So it's just mirrored at the bottom. Um, and it's got, like, these little... Do you know, like, little things to stand? Like, an actual... What are they? Do you know what I mean? Like, little things on the bottom to stand it. And then it's just in, like, a... Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six... Hexagon. It's in a hexagon. God, that makes me sound so dumb, doesn't it? But I had to count the sides, guys. So, yeah, it's just in this gorgeous hexagon shape. I really like that. And this was only $9.99. Um, so I thought that could replace that one. Because although I like that one, I just thought it was looking a little bit... No, it does look, it does look nice. I thought I was going to say on the cheaper side, it is cheap. Um, but this one... It's just a little bit something more than that one. It's taking the plainness away and, you know, just giving a little bit more of detailing. So, yeah, I like this one, but I will find a home for that. So that's what I got from HomeSense. And then the next thing I picked up from HomeSense was just a mug. Um, nothing special. I didn't see a lot in HomeSense today. I feel like you either go in there and buy absolutely everything or you go in there and buy nothing. Um, but the last thing I picked up was this mug and it says Gal Boss. I just love this mug and... Well, I'm not saying I'm a girl boss, but I guess I am. <laughs> but yeah, this was £3.99. I just really liked it. It was just simple. And I just thought it'd be good. You know when you do them nice little, like, interior pictures and you've got your mug in the background? I just thought it was really minimal and just quite cool. So I really liked that. I got that. Okay. Next place we went to was Dunelm. This was last week or the week before I went to Dunelm. I only picked up two things. Again, didn't pick up loads. Um, I just want to show you anyway. First thing I picked up was this candle. I always get so many questions about where this candle's from. It's just simply a silver diamante candle. Actually, it smells really nice, but as you girls know, I'm not using candles no more. So that's a whole other story. I'm pretty sure if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see my story about candles. But um, yeah, I'm not using scented candles no more. To cut the long story short, I've been doing research into candles more and more lately because I've not been very well with my health. I've been suffering with a really bad chest. My chest has been super tight, almost like I've got asthma. I'd get into bed at night, girls, and I couldn't breathe and laying down would make it worse. I was having to sit in like an upright position. Um, and I was typing in on Google like what I could do and it's like drink warm drinks, have caffeine and anyway, it was all like asthmatic symptoms, but yeah, I've never been di diagnosed with asthma. I've never had that in my life. Um, but I was really poorly with my chest. Like even my nasal passage was like all blocked up. I was getting headaches constantly. And do you know what it was? I 100% put it down to candles. Since I stopped burning candles, scented candles, I've been so much better health wise um, and then that led me to my investigation about scented candles and how actually bad they are little old me was not educated on them and i didn't even realize how bad they were for like the atmosphere obviously they're toxic and when you burn a candle they let off like all molecules and it's basically something about your room has a certain amount of molecules anyway but how many a candle lets off is like taking away all the fresh air in the room which then can get into your chest and Anyway, just do your research, guys. There was an article on Daily Mail that was quite good as well. And it was saying the Yankee candles were the worst. And they were the ones that I had. But yeah, they was also comparing them to like burning diesel cars and things like that. And they're just not good, you know. So anyway, I've stopped burning them. Been a lot much better health-wise. So just one to think of and just, just think about it. And if you're not very well at the moment and have similar symptoms to what I do or I had... It could be down to that, it could be, um, which is a shame because I do love my candles. I love having the nice morning home. I think they're cozy, oh, I love them. But if it's not good on your health, then to be honest with you, I'm not willing to take that risk and to keep making myself poorly. So, scented candles are gone. I'm still buying them just to decorate my house and make my house look lovely, but I'm just not burning them. Um, and I'm trying to find more natural sort of ways to make my house smell nice, but without all the obviously toxic whatever it is like you know air fresheners i've been stopping using them as well because i feel like they give me the same thing with my chest 
Um, so yeah, any, any recommendations on like more natural ways to make my home smell nice, please do let me know. Um, someone did mention like one of them oil, is it an oil diffuser? I think so. Let me know anyway, um, because I'm just trying to be as natural as possible. You know, got to think about the health. So anyway, got that. It was only a few pounds from Donnell, but love that. Next thing I picked up was this. Now, I absolutely love this. I thought it was a little bit of a bargain. So this was what it was. You don't get the candle within it. Um, but this was only about 12, 13 pounds from Donnell. And it's from that brand called Dorma, which if you know what Dorma is in Donnell, it's quite an expensive brand. Um, and it's such good quality. It's got like a velvety um, fabric on the bottom. And I just thought, again, it was a really nice sort of feature candle holder um, and then I picked up just a faux candle with this diamond sort of ribbon around it and just thought that looked really nice within this and this has currently been sat on my um, coffee table and I just think it looks beautiful but again it would make a really nice feature for a dining table as well so yeah I picked up that from Donnell okay on to the last couple of bits there wasn't a lot but I just wanted to share obviously what I got with you so I nipped into LD because I really wanted some nice re-diffusers obviously didn't want to pay a bomb for them Everyone was telling me to go to Aldi because they had affordable ones that looked really nice. But before I got the reed diffusers, outside of Aldi were these gorgeous little plants. And you guys all said that I probably should put plants on my little shelves. Um, so yeah, I picked up these. Are they the same parts? Yeah, I think they are. Um, one was in like a pink part, but I wanted that particular plant. So everyone was like, why don't you swap it for the white part? I was like, that is genius. So yeah, I managed to get two white parts and just two different looking plants. And again, I just thought these would add a different element to my shelves, keep into the white colour scheme. We'll see how them look. These were only 2 99 each, and I just thought these were really cute little plants. So I got those. Next up, I picked up the reed diffuse from Audi. So I believe these are 3 99 which is such a bargain because I feel like they look so expensive let's have a look at them I'm not really too bothered about the smell I just wanted them more for display purposes so this is what it looks like so just a little clear white thing it's got like a black little label on which I think looks really expensive and what I like about these ones is they've got black sticks rather than like the what, what color are they normally they're like wooden aren't they i don't want the wooden ones i wanted the black ones because i just thought they looked a bit more expensive so yeah that is the reed diffuser from audi like how expensive does that look guys it smells beautiful as well so i got the fig and cassis one is that how you say it and i also got the pomegranate one as well so i'm going to place these somewhere in the house but yeah i just thought they looked really expensive really affordable and um, so i picked up two of those okay last thing i picked up i actually picked this up from berry um friday night i got this like urge to just buy some more lamps because as i said to you some of the lighting in the house is dreadful because this barn conversion i think they must have had like issues with the electrics and where they could actually do like down lighters and um, so like for example in this room it is so dark there's literally two minute lights on the walls there's no down lighters it's awful so i will be getting like bedside tables and putting like big lamps on there just to make it a lot more bright up and the hallway has the exact same light it's so dark it's depressing so i was like right i'm gonna get loads of lights and um, so i picked this from berry now i'm gonna be completely honest I don't know what I'm feeling about it. I think it looks a little bit cheap. Do you know when you see something online and you really like it and then you get it and you're like, but then you really can't bother to send it back. So I'm not going to send it back. I could always take, look, you can always take that off and get another one. So I may do that later down the line. But for now, that is what it is. So firstly, this little lamp. So this is going to sit on the ledge, like I said, where the window is in the hallway. I will show it you all place. And then I also got this same one in the long lamp version, in the freestanding lamp version. So I will show you that as well. Obviously, I couldn't wheel that in here to show you. Um, but yeah, I don't know what it was, but I thought this... I don't know. I just thought these were like more silvery. I don't know. I just feel like in real life, they look a little bit more cheaper than what it looked like in the picture on the internet, if that makes sense. It's not bad. I don't hate it, but I don't know. I'm like, mm. But anyway, it will do. So yeah, I picked that up. So yeah, that brings us to the end of the haul. I'm now going to show you like, how I'd place them in the house and yeah, just how I'm going to style these because hopefully it might give you some inspo of what you could do in your house and where you could place them. So yeah, this is the haul video ending here and now I'm going to go on and show you how it's all going to look styled up.
first shells. As you can see, my beloved Smeg Toaster and Kettle, definitely worth that extra money. I know they were so expensive, but they do just look amazing. Um, and we move on to the second and third shell. So like I said, I wanted to keep it quite minimalistic, nothing too cluttered. I already had the white tea, coffee and sugar canisters. I wasn't that keen on them, but I wanted to obviously stick the rest of the decor in with the white, seeing as I already had them there. I think the plant adds a really nice touch on the second shelf. And then the third shelf, I've just kept it really simple. And I, I do actually like how the apple and the pear are looking. I didn't want anything too much. So yes, that is the first shelf. So as we move on to the second lot of shelves, as you can see below, my beloved Nespresso coffee machine, a sort of like coffee print, and also just a coffee capsule holder with the chocolate sprinkle thing on top. I will leave links for everything down below. The Nespresso machine is definitely worth it, by the way, guys. So as we move on to the first shelf, as you can see, just some sweetie jars, and then I've placed the Aldi Reed diffuser there, and the very top shelf, I've put that little silver ornament and my roses. Oh, what is that receipt on the top? I didn't even see that. But yeah, I think in the bigger jar, I'm going to put like white marshmallows i've already put pink um, bonbons in there maybe i could have done like black or white to keep the decor i don't know but yeah i'm really pleased again with how this is looking it just looks again very simple minimal but it just made my shelves look a lot more decorative and appealing than them being just empty okay so welcome to my hallway this was such a dark space before but i feel like these lamps have really helped lighten it up i think i need to get a higher watt um, bulb as well just to make it extra extra bright but yeah this is the lamp i was telling you about i'm not too sure but but anyway, it's looking quite glam there, so it's just going to stay there for the moment. I've moved the mirror in here as well. This is from the range, by the way. I get asked where this mirror is from all the time. I think it's around about £100. So worth it again. A lovely mirror. And as you can see, it just makes the space look so much more complete. And then I've simply just popped the lanterns next to it. I absolutely love how this has turned out and how this is looking. Okay, so moving on to this window ledge in the hallway. Those are inbuilt blinds, by the way, just for privacy reasons. Um, so yeah, let me talk you through what I've placed here. Again, I love how simple and just classy this looks. So there is the um, lamp from Avery, the flowers from the range, and then this print is actually from Chelsea Prints. I'll leave them in the description bar below. And then again, the clock from range too. And I feel like this just all ties in really nicely. Like I said, simple but classy. And yeah, I just, I just love how this is all fitting in together. So the only thing that is bugging me with this space is, as you can see, them wires at the bottom. Like, what can I do with them, girls? Anyone got any recommendations of how I can just tidy that up and make it not look so cluttery? Um, let me know, because I just feel like once them wires are sort of a little bit more hidden and not dangling like that, it will look a lot better. But yeah, this is the finished hallway. Well, I say finished, you know me, I'm always moving things around and changing things up. But yeah, this is how it looks. And I'm so, so pleased with, you know, just how a few little accessories have just made it so complete and just a whole different feel and vibe to it. Finally, the last place I wanted to show you was obviously my coffee table. I absolutely love how this is now looking. I feel like it just looks a little bit more simpler than how I had it before. And yeah, it looks quite expensive as well. So let me run you through how I've positioned everything. Oh, there's the cats in the background, bless them. So as you can see, the gorgeous tray from Home Sense placed with a Jo Malone candle, the Audi um, Reed diffuser, and then also just the little candle from Dunelm. Really love those three together. Just look really simple um, and expensive. Then we move on to probably just like the absolute statement piece of my coffee table, which is my Tom Ford book. A little bit on the pricey side, but it does look so expensive and it just is that statement book for your coffee table. I definitely recommend getting one if you are thinking about yes or no. Um, and then just simply the Dunelm flowers on top which are the ones I told you look a little bit more expensive which I think they do don't they guys but yeah that is the finishing coffee table guys and then here is my little baby I really hope you have enjoyed this video make sure you subscribe if you haven't already thank you for watching bye bye